Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is June 20th, 2017. This is Timothy Bro, storm spotter for the National Weather Services in Phoenix, Arizona, here to give you another update on our approaching monsoon season and why the monsoon season could be in the ramp up phase. Okay, well, I want to give a shout out to some of my uh, people who have been leaving comments and on my videos. Thank you very much for leaving the comments and questions uh, down below. I'm happy to answer them for you. I even had a few people that were leaving comments to other people uh, on helping me answer some of these uh, questions about the North American monsoon. So very good job, guys. Um, keep, them, keep them coming. I encourage that. That's very good. I appreciate that. Uh, all the help I can get is great. Um, let's keep those comments coming and all help each other on answering the questions of the North American monsoon 2017. Okay, so what do we got going on? What are we looking at? Well, right now I have a water vapor map up here, guys, for you, or what we like to call precipitable water. And this gives us an idea in the atmosphere, relatively above 20,000 feet, what is going to cause the thunderstorms to start developing across the desert southwest. And these areas include Nevada, southwest California, New Mexico, Texas, and uh, Arizona and Utah. Okay, uh, those are the primary states. But the two states that get affected the most from the monsoon are Arizona and New Mexico. Okay, so what color is this? This is a dark blue, right? That's a two inch precipitable water. Right now in the central deserts of Arizona, we're currently approaching 1.25 inches of precipitable water. So the atmosphere is starting to wet up, but this is a lot of mid and high level moisture right now, especially early on during the monsoon season. High pressure current resides over east central Arizona right now, right about here where this arrow is pointing, and parts of it extends in this fashion. So it's kind of going like this, sorry, like this clockwise, okay? Counterclockwise are for low pressure systems. We have a little bit of a clockwise flow here off of the southwest California coast. That's the thermal low, okay? So basically what I'm showing you is that map there. <clears throat> so now we're going to go to some other maps and um, again all this is property of the NOAA National Weather Service and I don't own any of it so we're not going to be able to use that okay so let's go into the internet here again real quick and uh, we'll type in NOAA as soon as I get it to load I got it loading right now okay well, I don't want that one Now this video that I'm making is going to be about two or three parts long, okay? So it's gonna be in multiple videos. <clears throat> now I wanted to let you guys know that we have a tropical system that has developed in the Gulf of Mexico right now, and that's gonna move north and probably make landfall, <clears throat> excuse me, in uh, Louisiana around Baton Rouge. Okay, it's probably gonna be a tropical storm and bring some heavy rains and winds to that area, okay? We also have another one developing further south down by the Cuba area right now, just around the Cuba area. Okay, so let's take a look here. New Mexico, you're in for a real treat here. Um, we've seen some thunderstorms uh, today that were pretty strong. The tops went up to about 40,000 feet across the area and uh, produced some brief, moderate to heavy rain, gusty winds of up to 60 miles an hour and some small hail, especially in the mountainous terrain. Uh, so the moisture is working its way in, okay? So we have a counterclockwise flow with a little bit of a low pressure here to, starting to develop a thermal low and a clockwise flow of air here as a high pressure, okay? That's the monsoon high. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on, okay? We're gonna look at the numerical models and what we got going on is a moisture increase okay and so this is the ramp up of the monsoon all right so I showed you these models on my last video and we're going to take a look at pr the precipitation index okay so what's going to fall during the next couple of days here okay so here's that tropical system I was talking about that's going to produce several inches of rain uh, across the area and what we got going on is a ramp up of the monsoon so this is Wednesday into Thursday, Friday, kind of tempers down a bit, then the connection starts to connect again, okay? But the high pressure system is here. 
So it's gonna push this moisture cell temporarily, okay? So watch what happens as we go a little further in time. All right, so now we're on the 24th. You see the moisture, this is gonna cause a gulf surge. So by Thursday, Friday night, this area of the Gulf of California, okay, this is the Gulf of California, it's gonna cause a surge of moisture to move into the southwest deserts and into the western deserts. And we're looking for dew points to climb uh, into the 50s and 60s across the area and a precipitable water of around 1.50 inches. So that's pretty good. Uh, combine that with some high heat and we might be able to get some thunderstorms going across the deserts even. even in, okay, so here's the 24th. You can see a little bit of moisture starting to form here. Uh, in the western deserts. That is indicative of a gulf surge, okay? This looks to be a relatively shallow gulf surge. We're not looking for a whole lot of, of rich moisture with this. This is gonna be, again, mainly mid and upper level with a small amount of low-level moisture uh, present in this uh, flow as it comes up from the self, okay? Let's go a little bit further in time. So 25th is my birthday, okay? And on the 25th, we're going to see the moisture continue to come into the south, and we got a good connection going here now. Um, New Mexico, you're going to start getting pretty wet at this point, okay? We have a backdoor cold front that's going to come in from the plains in through Oklahoma and te uh, North Texas and work its way down and push a frontal zone across New Mexico. So a very active day is expected on the 25th, beginning the 25th. Uh, here in New Mexico. Some of these storms could be quite strong or even severe with Cape values approaching 2,500 kilojoules across the area. Across Arizona, Cape is a little bit less. It's going to be around 1,500 kilojoules. And um, we could still see some isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. And winds are going to be relatively fast with this. We're looking for winds to be out of the south-southwest at about 30 knots, okay? So uh, we're also going to have a Cape value of around 1,500 kilojoules, lifted index of 0 to negative 2, uh, precipitable water of around 1.50 inches and dew points in the 50s and 60s will more than be enough to kick off at least a few showers and thunderstorms. Now as we head into the 26th, New Mexico, uh, watch out, you are definitely under the gun here. Uh, we're looking at quite a bit of moisture uh, with precipitable water values approaching 2 inches, especially in this area here uh, in eastern New Mexico and central New Mexico, uh, likely to get some heavy rain out of this event as well as some possible severe thunderstorms. Uh, a couple isolated supercell structures are possible across the area, so we'll have to watch for possible funnel clouds and different things like that uh, as this monsoon begins to ramp up across the area. I'm not expecting tornadoes at this time, but it's just keep an eye. Some of these storms are going to get quite frisky uh, on the 25th and 26th out here. Moisture continues to increase across the desert southwest at this point. Not all models are on, the, on agreement with this. Um, um, some models are saying we'll get a little bit of rain uh, coming into southeast Arizona, and that's about it, really. Uh, but this is the ramp up of the monsoon. All right, so here we go. Uh, heading into the 26th now, the moisture really begins to increase across New Mexico. They, you guys are going to get soaked uh, across the air. So your monsoon really picking up here, speed here in New Mexico. Uh, you guys could see one to three inches of rain with isolated spots of up to four inches. Uh, so don't be surprised if some flash flooding does occur. Uh, with these uh, relatively slow-moving thunderstorms at this point. All right, so high pressure is basically located over here, over southwest Texas, helping to give a nice moist southerly flow of air in through the desert southwest. But again, this ramp up of the monsoon is the first one, um, and it's basically going to cause moisture to really increase across New Mexico. New Mexico and Texas, you guys are under the gun for some pretty hefty thunderstorm and good rainfall amounts, okay? So June could be ending on a wet one for you guys. You people in Albuquerque that were hoping for the monsoon, it's coming, so be patient. It's really gonna get going here. All right, going further out in time, on the 27th, moisture's still lingering around parts of central Arizona, so we could still see a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms. The most active day actually looks to be on the 28th for Arizona. Tucson, <clears throat> you're gonna get a pretty good soaking on the 28th. Um, Thunderstorms are actually going to start developing tomorrow. We had a few isolated ones west of Tucson today that produced some gusty winds. Tomorrow, better day for you, Tucson. This will be June 20th, which is today. Uh, so Tuesday afternoon into the evening, thunderstorms could get as far west as um, probably, I'd say, most likely uh, Oracle, Marana. Those areas could all see some scattered thunderstorms. Uh, 